What's up guys, Jay here, come back at you guys with another video. Now in today's video guys, I've got an in-depth guide to the best settings for controller. In this video we're going to be showing you on PS5, but this will also work for PS4, Xbox One, Series X and PC. If you do go on to enjoy the video today, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new here and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss out on a future video. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So as you can see, we're just over here on Warzone. We're going to go to settings. And in today's video, we're only going to be covering, as I said, the controller settings. So let's just go through these now, see what the best settings are and what you guys think of them. First, we're going to start off with the BR button layout. Now, I do understand that a lot of you might play like this tactical flip. Now, this is probably the best way to play tactical flipped, which is where your upper bumpers, so you only have to like literally tap them and they'll aim in, tap and they'll shoot. It's probably the best because you you know you end up being faster but i've tried playing like this many times and it just doesn't work out for me so i just play normal tactical i just use the bottom bumpers maybe i should get uh trigger stops potentially but this is what works for me i know it might be different for you guys but i'd recommend giving that a try if you can play with it it's obviously better because you will be quicker aiming and shooting but this is what i play on for now and it seems to work for me fine stick layout i have mine as default i believe that's the best once again, these are all uh, settings that you guys can change. So I'll show you what I have, then you can just change and go, you know, from that. On the dead Sony, I keep it at 0.06. This just seems to work perfect for me. I've seen people actually have it up on like 0. Point, what did I say? 0. 0.85. I can never do it. Here, try this and see what you think of it. And if not, tell me what you guys run in the comment section down below. But 0. 0.06 honestly works fine for me. Stick sensitivity. Now... This is all preferable opinion again, okay? Now, I used to have mine on a 4, but I've worked it up to a 6. Now, one of my mates, Michael, he plays on like a 20. I'm not playing on a 20. That's not happening. But I used to play on 4 because I used to play like uh, game battles and GBs and stuff. But I've gone up to a 6. This is like the perfect sensitivity for me. But I'll try the 6 and then work from it. Obviously, people say it's better if you have a higher sensitivity. However, if you have a higher sensitivity... Like let's say you're going for like the max sensitivity, yeah, and you're not getting kills, you're not doing anything, but it's like, oh my god, I can spin around really fast, there's not really much point of it, so just work what works for you, you don't have to have a higher sensitivity to like impress anyone or anything, just do whatever works for you, you know, uh, ADS sensitivity, we have a 0 0.85, once again, I believe this is the best, I believe this works perfect, aim response curve type, now, I've seen people have it on dynamic, uh, that seems to be coming up a lot, but standard is honestly what I think is the best. I would try a standard, you probably will have it on standard anyway, but this is the main one which I'm using. Controller, vib controller vibration, sorry, now a lot of people have this disabled, I like it enabled. Uh, when I'm shooting my gun, I want to know that I'm shooting my gun. I mean, I know if you're playing like keyboard and mouse, obviously you don't get that and... I don't know, it's just one of those things, like, I've had that on since I've ever started playing COD back in, like, 06, when I was sitting there playing, you know, World at War, um, but this is what works for me, I, I prefer it on, try it on, I mean, like, when I'm shooting, I can actually feel the controller, like, a bit of movement, and obviously with this PS5 controller, it's just so good to, like, feel movement in it, it's a, it's a brilliant controller, aim assist, we go standard, uh, focusing, you could do, but... Standard just works for me. Like I said, this is all subjective. So you choose whatever you want. Tell me your settings in the comment section down below. ADS plus melee, that's what I do for the weapon mount. Um, I have this enabled just because I prefer it when it's enabled. If it's not, I feel a bit sluggish when I'm grinding for my Damascus camo. Aim down sight behavior. Hold, that should be standard. I mean, you could do toggle, but hold is it's, it's, it's a lot better. I wouldn't do toggle. Uh, equipment behavior hold again yes contextual tap this is very important so when you're into going into a room you don't have to spend ages holding down buttons you just quickly tap stuff you'll be moving about a lot quicker but when you go into multiplayer i would actually change this back to tap to reload or tap to use keep it as contextual tap for warzone no uh depleted ammo weapon switch enabled yes you want this on Armor plate behavior, apply also when you're applying armor. It's not just applying one, it's applying all the armor so that you're, you know, getting to max armor ASAP. Movement, I have this as tap. Uh, I used to have it as hold, but I started playing as tap and it's just quicker. You want to slide. Once again, I'm grinding for Damascus still. And I know it's like, oh my god, I ain't been doing it about 10 years. 
but I was on and off with it grinding and not grinding but now that I'm back on it and I've got to do like you know the riot shield kills and everything it's just uh, the tap seems to work better for me <clears throat> auto move forward disabled I wouldn't have this on I mean if you want to just be able to, to run about then go for it but here we have all mate tactical sprint on so that's just what I've been running vehicle camera center I have that enabled I find that to be the best that doesn't really matter at all and parachute auto deploy I used to actually play with this enabled but if you play it with disabled so let's say when you're dropping into the map the parachute just deploys out of nowhere it'll stop doing that so you like do it when you want you gotta get used to it though because you might just fall from the sky and die which could be a bit annoying but uh yeah, those are the settings for the controller on console. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I've got a lot of videos coming out at the moment. To so say posted on the channel if you don't want to miss out on any of those. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.